First of all, this video is not clickbait at all. How's it going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough and welcome back. It's been a couple weeks since I posted a video and that is just because I was trying to get a few shoes in that I could review and show you guys that have purchased. These all have come from StockX except for this top one right here. And I wanted to start this video off by thanking you guys. We're past 7,000 subscribers now. That's super amazing. And speaking of that, I'm gonna throw something up on the screen. This is one of my YouTube analytics. And basically it's a way for me to see who's watching my videos, see the engagement with you guys and it looks like over the last month I've had about hundred and twenty thousand views on my channel and an astounding 96% of you guys are not subscribed make sure if you like my videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below I want to bring you guys some more great content hit that subscribe button down below the next giveaway will be at 10,000 subscribers so we should be able to hit that easy no problem and now let's get into the video first of all this video is not clickbait at all and I want to be straight up honest with you guys I'm gonna give you the pros I'm gonna give you the cons and just be honest I want you guys to always get an honest feedback and honest opinion here on my channel and so today I'm just gonna lay it all out on the line tell you my honest opinion of what I think about buying from StockX all right let's start off by talking about some of the shoes that I've purchased from StockX in the last two to three weeks both of these shoes came from StockX we've got a Jordan one here which we will talk about in just a little bit first we'll talk about this Yeezy boost and this is a Yeezy 700 this shoe it's been haunting me I've not been able to buy this shoe for retail I've tried so many times this shoe has released I don't know like four or five times now and I've struck out every single time I've tried every single time I've wanted this shoe for a long time I just didn't want to pay more than retail and resell was extremely high for a really long time and so I just wasn't willing to pay that much money for this shoe in particular especially now that I know they're gonna keep releasing it I want to get it for retail and I didn't I bought them from StockX I paid resell but honestly I got them for a really good deal maybe like 40 or 50 bucks over retail and so this shoe you might have been able to guess it already but it is the Yeezy 700, the original colorway, the Wave Runner, as most of you know it. And this shoe is just really great to me. I'm not gonna lie, I was one of the people at the beginning that hated on this shoe. I, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It took me a while, the shoe definitely had to grow on me. And I've been to a lot of sneaker cons, and there was one sneaker con in particular, I think it was Fort Lauderdale. And I promise you, it seemed like every single person had on this shoe. And I think just seeing it on people, seeing the way people styled it, it really started to grow on me. And I've tried on the 700, so I know this is a very comfortable model. And I don't feel like that's too much of a hype beast thing to say. And if it is, I honestly don't care anyways. I just really like this shoe. And finally, I have it in my collection. Well, I've just tried to buy this shoe like so many times and it's been impossible. But finally, I was able to pick it up from StockX. They shipped it to me very quickly. And so this overall was a great experience as far as buying from StockX. And so that's the way I'll start this off is StockX is an amazing platform. They've really changed the game on how sneakers are bought and sold. I was trying to think of like a reference. It definitely is like similar to Redbox, which Redbox is irrelevant now, I understand. But at the time when Redbox came out, like they totally changed the game as far as like renting movies and games and things like that. And so StockX is very similar to that. Like they really revolutionized how sneakers are bought and sold. And so overall, this experience was really great. I threw a bid on these for like 370 bucks and somebody accepted my bid pretty quickly. And then basically that person ships the shoes to StockX for verification. They check the shoes, make sure they're authentic, and then they ship them to me. And usually, usually you get the shoes within like seven to 10 business days, which I think is reasonable. And that's what the great thing is about StockX is at the time you're getting the best price possible usually, or at least like the market value I think I paid 370 for these. I'd have to look at the receipt. Uh, 
376. I paid 376 for these. If you looked at these on StockX now, they're probably like 390 bucks. And so they've already kind of went back up because this is one of the most popular easy models out right now, even though it released like a couple years ago. And so basically StockX is a great platform. You can bid or you can purchase the shoes immediately if you like the price. And so that is an amazing platform. I really, really praise them as far as that goes. I've already looked over the shoes to make sure they're authentic and they do look good to me. Drop a comment in the comment section below if you have a pair of these. I feel like so many people have them now, but this is a shoe that I don't really care about being exclusive. I just like the way it looks. I think it's a great shoe for summer. I'm gonna wear these a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna like beat them, but I'm definitely gonna wear these a lot because they're very comfortable shoes and they go with a lot of stuff. So this shoe will get a lot of wear for me this summer. And so this was a great experience as far as the StockX process there are things i think that they could improve and one thing that i think that StockX could improve on is having like a seller reward program so let's say i have a pair of shoes for sale let's say i'm selling these and i sell these on a wednesday i have until friday to ship them to StockX. And it doesn't cost me anything. They send me the label and I just ship them right out at a UPS location. I have two business days from the sale date to ship them out. Now, what StockX could do is offer a seller rewards program and say like, if you ship them out quicker, you get rewarded. Maybe you get a percentage back of the sale because they take like, what, 9%, I think. And that's if you've like moved up. I think the original starting point's like nine and a half percent. And so let's say maybe they just give you like a little bit more money if you ship faster, that's one idea. And they could do it in increments. Like if you ship out within the first 12 hours, you get this much, 24 hours, you get a little bit less, 36 hours, you get a little bit less. And then to go past that, you have seller penalties. If you are not shipping the shoes out in the appropriate amount of time, you should definitely be penalized. So if the seller doesn't do that, in my opinion, that seller should be penalized. Like it's only fair to the buyer to get their product on time. And I feel like StockX doesn't really hold people accountable to the shipping. Now I will give them credit. I have noticed the past few items I've sold on StockX, they send me so many emails. They're sending an email the same day, like, hey, don't forget you sold this item, make sure you ship it out. And so I do appreciate that. I'm gonna give them credit. Like I love StockX. I spend a lot of money on StockX. And so through these purchases, I've had different experiences like this person shipped the shoes very quickly. They're authentic. The box is in good condition. Overall, this was a great experience. If this was my first experience on StockX, I'd be so happy. And I am happy with this experience. But what I'm saying is that overall, there are flaws to their system. And I'm sure they know this, but I wanted to make this video and just kind of discuss with you guys about some of the experiences I've had. And also in the comment section below, leave some experiences that you've had, good or bad. It doesn't matter to me. I want to hear and kind of start a conversation as far far as what could StockX improve because their platform is driven by the buyers and sellers. So if, if people stopped using StockX to buy and sell items, which obviously there's other platforms that are available, then that's going to hurt them. And I'm not trying to advocate for that. I'm just trying to start a conversation to maybe make some changes, make some improvements, just positivity, really reward the sellers that sell and ship quickly and then penalize the ones who don't. All right, that's enough about the Easy 700s. Let's talk about this pair of Jordan 1s that I bought. And I'll go ahead and read you the color label and you'll probably know which pair it is. The color is Sale Obsidian and University Blue. Of course, this is the Jordan 1 Obsidian. And this is a shoe that I've wanted for a while as well. Initially, I didn't go for it. It was just a shoe that I felt like I didn't need, which of course, nobody really needs a whole bunch of shoes. That's obviously not the most important thing in life. So when it came to this pair releasing, I just didn't really feel like I had to have it. However, I've seen a few people swap the laces on these. Now they come with an obsidian pair in the shoe and then you've got the university blue laces attached. While I don't think these look bad, there is a third lace that you can put in these and that is sale. And to me, it completely changes the look of the shoe. It makes the shoe look way better. And just to show you guys sale laces. So in my Travis Scott's here, I've got sale laces in these right now. And it just looks amazing with the midsole and the leather panels here. I think sale looks really, really good on these. And then also on my Nigel's, I did have red laces in these and I swapped to sale. And I think it's just such a clean aesthetic. It looks so, so good. I think they should have offered, I mean, even throw in a third lace. You know, these came with three laces. These came with four laces. 
Um, so give us three laces, in my in my opinion, Jordan Brand. I'll grab my brother's pair and show you guys what it looks like real quick. All right, so here is my brother's pair. So shout out to Max for actually putting me onto the whole sale lace thing. So he put sale laces in his pair. And to me, this is the best lace option. I think it looks amazing compared to these two options. And so he kind of hyped me up on these, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. He was like, look at these. I really feel like you need to own these because they're not that expensive. I got these for two. 237 so you know they've went as high as like 280 290 they fluctuate a lot on StockX so that's the great thing about StockX guys is you can literally kind of watch the market and see how it changes I got these for 237 I think that's a really great price so I think I got a good deal at 237 um, here's my issue though is I think they might be fake um, I'm not 100% sure that these are authentic. These are from StockX. Like, I'll show you my receipt, cover my address and order number, but like, here's my receipt. They're from StockX. I'm not making it up. I'm not 100% sure that these are authentic, and that's pretty scary. I know some of you guys have commented that I opened the shoe box and just assumed that they're authentic from StockX. Guys, when I get a pair of shoes in, I look them over before I record the video. And so I've looked these over for now like a couple days, and I'm just not sure that they're real. And I'll tell you my reasoning why. I'd love to know in the comment section below, like if you have a pair of these, and so if you guys know like some tips or tricks on this particular pair, then please drop a comment in the comment section below. I'd love your help. I've watched authentication videos like on YouTube as well. The first thing that bothers me about these is the tongue. The tongue on this one is really crooked. Now I know it's not gonna be like straight because it's not laced up, but just the way it sits, how it sits like that, very, very crooked. I feel like it's more crooked than previous Jordan ones I've gotten. Now let me pull out the other one. So this one also sits crooked. That's odd. Tell me guys, do you have these? Did your pair come like this? The second thing I looked at is on the heel right here, this little tab. On these, it's definitely wider and shorter. Like if I compare it to the Nigels right here, this one's taller than it is wide. This one's wider than it is tall. The second thing is the height of the shoe. Just holding the shoe in my hand, it looks shorter than some other OG high Jordan ones. Maybe it's that way on purpose. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen anybody answer that question on YouTube. And so I just started comparing it to some of mine and you can tell by the Nigels right here, like they don't line up, okay? And it's not just the Nigels. Let's show like a few. So I showed you the Nigels. The other thing that Nick just pointed out, look at the shape right here, the heel. This one goes pretty straight up and down. This one definitely curved forwards. Is that normal? Here's the shadow ones. Okay, this one's definitely taller and the shape is more straight up and down. This one curves forward a lot more. Reverse shatter backwards, same. Thing. But to me, the shape just looks so odd for this to be like an OG high, even the Travis's. Pretty straight up and down. Drop a comment in the comment section below. If you have more information on this, let me know. I don't know everything. Just let me know what you guys think. Is your pair like mine? The thing that really worries me the most, the box. Let's talk about what bothers me about the box. Off the bat, I'll show you that the shape just seems kind of flimsy, more flimsy than a normal Jordan 1 box. The paper, I don't know, the paper's hard. The paper's hard to judge. And then this is what it really is. Inside this box lid, there's supposed to be a stamp from the factory. There is not a stamp inside this box lid. I'm not trying to like throw StockX under the bus and like accuse them of selling me fakes. I'm just questioning whether or not these shoes are authentic or not. And maybe you don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm going to show you on every single other Jordan 1 box that I have here. And, all right, so I got a few Jordan 1 boxes here to compare. So here is the Nigel 1 box. Now this is my brother's box. There is the stamp, okay? Sometimes they're more bold than other times, but that's the stamp that I'm talking about. Here is my brother's Obsidian box. Look at this. Stamp. Like, what is going on? There is a stamp on the inside of his lid. I don't have one on mine. And again, I'm not saying for certain that these are fake from StockX. I'm not sure. Here's my Nigel One box. Open the lid, stamp on the inside. Let's go to another one. My reverse shatter backwards and the stamp on these is actually in the box. And this was verified authentic by SneakerCon, so 
no worries there. Let's see, what do we have here? This is my shattered box right there up in the corner. We've got a stamp and all of mine do, every single one of them, except for these ones that I just purchased. So what do you guys think? Do you think they're real? Do you think they're fake? Drop that in the comment section below. I will say the quality of the shoe looks on point. The no stamp in the box thing is really throwing me off. The good thing about StockX is they put this tag on here. Let me read it to you. It says, please inspect item. Okay, so that's what we're doing. All claims null and void if tags removed. What that means is that if you cut this off, they're not gonna do anything for you because of course, at that point, you could have switched the shoe and we don't even have to get into that. I've never had an issue in the past with a shoe being fake. This is the first time, honestly, where I got the shoe and just got a, you know, a weird vibe. And the other thing that I want to bring up when we're kind of on this topic of the StockX process is sometimes they drop the ball. I'm not throwing shots at StockX. I love StockX. I placed an order on March 24th. Okay, today's April 6th, April 6th. The shoe has not been delivered to me yet, but I ordered these after them, the Yeezy 700 Wave Runners after. Now, not only have I not got them yet, StockX has not got them yet. That's my issue, and it's been like 11 days, 10, 10 or 11 days. That's unacceptable, and I don't want this to happen, but I think they may have lost my order. And I saw this happen to one of my friends recently. That's 100% truthful. They lost one of my friend's orders and refunded him the money. That might sound good to you that he got his money back. And it is. The issue is the market of shoes is always changing. There was the Jordan 3, the UNCs that just released. And I think he paid $240 for them. By the time he got his money back, they were over $260. So what is he supposed to do? He has to pay more for the shoe now? Is that fair? In my opinion, it's not. Now, how does StockX combat that? Honestly, I don't have all the answers, but in my opinion, in that scenario, StockX should have to cover maybe the difference and get him another pair. So if he paid 240 bucks and they lost the shipment, then they should have to cover that $20, $30 difference. To me, that's fair. That's good business. So what's gonna happen with my order? Well, I've sent them three emails now. They've replied to two of them. All they've really said is that they're checking on it. I'm not throwing shots at StockX. I like StockX. I spend a lot of money with StockX, but I'm just being open and honest. So far, they've not given me an answer since last Thursday or Friday when I sent the email. And the biggest issue is that this shoe is actually a gift for somebody else. It's not even a shoe for me. If it was a shoe for me, I wouldn't even really be that upset about it, but it's a shoe for somebody else. And so it's kind of embarrassing. It's aggravating. Now the shoe has also went up in price 20 to $25. I don't know what's going to happen. I just want to really just be open and honest about my experiences with StockX. I have faith in StockX that they will make it right. And so drop a comment in the comment section below. Tell me some of your experiences that you've had with StockX, maybe things that you'd like to see change or that can be improved upon. You know. What's up guys? So today is April 7th. I'm just filming this little ending on my phone and I thought it'd be a good time to go ahead and update you guys because StockX did reply to my email. So it's April 7th. Let me go ahead and put up on the screen what the email says. Um, so you can read it. I'm not gonna like hide anything, but pretty much StockX said, hey, we had an issue with your order in transit. To me, that translates to they lost it. They didn't confirm that, but in my opinion, they lost my order. And so they gave me a refund. Now I replied to them and said, hey, you know, I wasn't looking for a refund. I really want the shoe. Is there something you guys can do to compensate me? You know, get me another pair of the shoes. And and basically they replied saying that's not what they do they don't do any type of compensation in that way honestly if something goes wrong with your order best case scenario is you get your money back that's really the best case scenario i think that's unfortunate it's obviously not about the 15 to 20 dollars that i would have to spend to get another pair of these shoes to me it's more about the principle they messed up i'm honestly disappointed in StockX. i've spent a lot of money on their platform and so maybe i'll start using goat i honestly like StockX better, but maybe I'll use Goat. Maybe I'll just use my local stores here in Atlanta, use their online websites that they've set up because I have to shop online. I can't go to any stores in person right now. Not throwing any shots at them, but in my opinion, that's kind of bad business. It doesn't seem like they really care about the customer, which 
is what it's all about in my opinion. I'm also working on some new tie-dye shirts. I've got one on right here. This is just kind of like a sample. I posted it up on Instagram, but I'm working on some new designs and all of those will be for sale once I get them ready at atllocals.com. I've also got like some other Supreme and Nike items for sale on there, atllocals.com guys. Check that out if you want to. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you on the next one.